11 Best Flowering Perennials for Shady Gardens Monkshood is a herbaceous perennial that likes full sun but is fine in partial shade. The plant is named for the shape of the deep bluish-purple blooms that can last up to two months, appearing in fall atop five to six foot stalks. This is an excellent plant for offering late-season color when most other plants have ended their bloom period. Monkshood has good resistance to pests and diseases, but in shady locations the plants will need to be staked to prevent toppling. Butterflies and hummingbirds can't resist the delicate, nectar-filled blossoms of columbine. There are many native species available, but most commercial offerings are cultivars of C. vulgaris. The bicolored, bell-shaped flowers come in a wide variety of color combinations. This is a very easy plant to grow, and it often spreads by self-seeding. Gardeners often observe columbine varieties hybridizing to form new varieties in the garden. Growing about 2 feet tall, columbine usually blooms in late spring and early summer. Virginia bluebells are a native wildflower that makes an excellent choice for naturalized shade gardens. Growing to about 2 feet tall, this clump-forming perennial produces clusters of trumpet-shaped blue flowers in March and April. The foliage dies back as soon as the blooms fade, so Virginia bluebells is best planted amidst other plants that can fill in. Astilbe is one of those nearly perfect flowers. The fern-like foliage stays attractive all season. The flower plumes bloom one spring and early summer in shades of whites, pinks, purples, and reds, but last the whole season after they fade. Many different varieties abound, some growing as small as 6 inches, others to 5 feet. Also known as bugbane, black cohosh is the rare plant that blooms well in deep shade. It can easily reach 6 feet in one season and adds texture as well as height to the shade garden. The dense, deeply cut foliage gives rise to even taller stalks of bottle brush white flowers in late summer or fall. Delicate bleeding hearts are another of the rare flowers that bloom well in deep shade. It is generally a spring bloomer, growing to 2 to 3 feet tall. The flowers are delicate heart-shaped drops, pink with white tips. The blooms last for several weeks, but bleeding heart may die back in the hot months of summer, though it always returns next season. Barrenwort is often dismissed as a slow-growing ground cover, but these plants deserve more respect. This herbaceous perennial grows and spreads from rhizomes. The spring-blooming, spider-like flowers come out in clusters, and the foliage, which starts out almost lime green, changes to a rich red in the fall. Some types are evergreen on warmer climates. Other common names for this plant include Bishop's Hat and Horny Goatweed, a name earned by plants' reputation as a libido enhancer. Primulas are one of the first flowers to bloom in spring, as the name indicates Primula comes from medieval Latin, meaning, little first one. Primulas can handle some sun in the spring, but after things warm up, they'll require at least partial shade. Their colors are usually vibrant, and sometimes they can be bicolored. There are dozens of species and cultivars available, and many are grown as annuals since they quickly succumb in warm weather. Meadow rue has columbine-like foliage, with fuzzy white, pink, or purple clusters of summer blossoms. It takes care of itself, doesn't like fuss or being moved, and it thrives in partial shade. The plants reach heights of 3 to 5 feet in flower from May to July. Lungwort is an early bloomer with white spotted foliage the long narrow leaves can be entirely silver or spotted with silver. The showy flowers of white, pink, or blue appear in April, all three colors sometimes are found on the same blossoms. There are several similar members of the Puminaria genus that are good landscape plants, including P. officinalis, P. longifolia, P. saccharata, and P. angustifolia. A close cousin of forget-me-nots, Siberian bugloss is a clump-forming perennial that grows to a maximum of 18 inches. Its blue flowers appear in April and May, but its attractive, heart-shaped dark green leaves are very attractive in the shade garden all year. This is an excellent plant for grouping or massing over large areas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.